Now, at 10 on your side follow up. Tonight, we are hearing from veterans affected by a major decision regarding a troubled education company for the first time. Last month, Everest College's approval for GI Bill benefits was withdrawn. Ten of your side anchor Anita Bland has been following the story since July. Anita? Nicole, the men I spoke to today said they risked life and limb for this country and their education shouldn't be another fight. But that's just what is becoming now that Corinthian Colleges Incorporated has lost GI Bill benefits in the Commonwealth. Today, they say, an olive branch was extended to them from the company offering Pell Grants to students in limbo. Now the question is, will that be enough? I feel that there are veterans that are paying the price for uh, mismanagement at, at, at corporate levels within Corinthian Colleges Institute. Miles Lacey and David Martin just want to complete what they started and get the education they feel they've earned with sweat and blood. I served with the United States Marine Corps, 3rd Battalion, 8th Marines. I joined in the Navy in 2007, uh, completed boot camp in 2007, went to a Naval Nuclear Power Training Command down in South Carolina. Uh, completed that program, uh, went to the USS Theodore Roosevelt. We ended our report last month with this statement from Corinthian Colleges that seemed like an air of hope about the chances of turning things around for veterans attending their Everest College locations. Today I spoke with the Assistant Director for the Virginia Department of Veterans Services State Approving Agency by phone, and she said they received one email from Corinthian Colleges after that appealing for them to reconsider their decision to withdraw GI Bill benefits their reply, no deal. Obviously, it won't be at Everest, but I'd still like to finish getting my degree because I've came way too far and through way too much. The GI Bill benefits don't just cover school, they help with living expenses too. The basic allowance for housing, for students to be able to live in the house or the apartment they're living in, um, that comes into question. The ability to afford gas to get to and from school. And for those like David and Miles within weeks or months of finishing their program who had no hand in creating the problem they're facing, they say it's just not fair. I was told each person will be paid through the end of the term they're in, not necessarily the course they're taking, and it depends on what type of benefits you're eligible for. We'll have some important phone numbers for this story for you on wavy.com. If you want to discuss your individual situation, it'll be there for you. Anita Blanton, 10 on your side.